Good morning, class. Today is Monday, March 23rd, and this is week two of quarantine. So I have um, decided that each day I'm going to release one lesson for you, and then uh, that'll be, I think it'll be a little bit easier for everybody to follow along with the lessons for each week. Okay, so the lesson for today is lesson nine, the Mongol Empire, part one. But before I get into that, I just want to let you know that the lesson schedule for this week is Lesson 9, the Mongo Empire Part 1. Tuesday will be Lesson 10, the Mongo Empire Part 2. Wednesday will be Lesson 11, the Islamic Empires. Thursday will be Lesson 12, Trans-Saharan Trade Routes. And then Friday will be a Unit 8 test online. Uh, which again, that'll just be a check for understanding. It, it won't be for an actual grade, okay? I'll post that um, that schedule underneath in the classroom um, description, okay? So, but for today, we have the Mongol Empire Part 1, okay? So, first things first, I want you to do the introduction. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, when you uh, look at the directions, okay, make sure you read it. Um, and you're just going to kind of give me, uh, an idea of where the Mongol Empire is in relationship to the, the different, um, geographical features. Okay. Remember it's in Asia and Russia. And then for part two, I want you to, um, read a little bit about Genghis Khan and then watch a video. And there's some other videos that go along with it. And you would do a see, think, wonder for the final part of the lesson. And I'm going to show you. I want you to tell me how did the Mongols gain, consolidate, and maintain power. And you're going to do this by reading through the articles. Okay, for example, in document two, it says, Therefore, they, the Mongols, took possession of the world through this advantage of bow and horse. So the Mongols would have consolidated power by using the horse as a tactical advantage in war. And then at the end, there's a chart, and I want you to tell me uh, what the event was. Did they gain, consolidate, and maintain power? And then a little bit of a description, okay? So it's mainly just kind of working with documents, all right? And then your lesson question for today will be, who was Genghis Khan, and how did he gain, consolidate, and maintain power? Okay, all that will be um, available in the lesson. I'm going to post that right now. If you have any questions, let me know. And I am available to help you out if you need it. Okay, you can email me, you can text me, you can call me. Okay, um, and you can respond to the lesson question, which I will also um, put in to the classroom um, description underneath this uh, on this post. And you can respond to that um, through email. Okay. Happy learning.